hi guys how is everyone doing welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to be showing you back to school hairstyle uh, that i'll be doing on my daughter and what i'm going to use is the crochet braids i'm going to use this one from free free stress braid and it's a crochet, uh, crochet braids okay so i have this is 1b and I have this in the f uh, 12 inches so 12 inches I will use at the back then I have these 14 inches as an highlight and I also have an another pack for 14 inches okay so I will use the 14 inches in the front and the 12 inches I will use at the back so to begin the hair you part the hair into three section so this is the front section and make another one in the middle section and this so with this the one in the front and in the back i'm going to do single braids on them and the middle one i'm just going to con roll it all the way to the back so we can do uh, the crochet okay so stay tuned as we continue to do it all right so let me start with the front here so it depends on how big you want the hair, you can section it how big you want it. But me, I'm not going to do too big, just uh, a medium size will be good for the uh, kid, okay? So, because my child, she doesn't have that much patience, you know, for hair. So we're just going to do something easy and something simple for her, okay? So I just want to show you what I'm doing. He loves life. Sometimes I think he's a vampire. Her hair is natural hair, by the way. So after I wash it and condition it, I just blow it out. Okay? So. So we're just gonna do single braid all the way to the end, okay? So we're just going, going to continue doing all of this, you know, in the front and in the back. Okay, guys. So it's very, very easy to do and very quick, long-lasting hairstyle for your child. All right. So I have two now, so I'll continue doing that okay guys after braiding the hair this is what the braid pattern is single braids at the front and at the back single braids so in the middle i did a corn roll going down i have one two three four five six seven eight corn roll and i tuck in all the braid braided handle okay so that's just it let me just put some grease then we can start putting in the crochet hair now okay so i'll show you how i did the crochet hair okay guys i want to show you how i do the install i already did one and a couple at the back so i just want to show you how to do it okay so go with the crochet needle in there then close it up and pull okay so go back in there okay 
I hope you can see what I'm doing. So pull it in and get tight. So the little loose one at the end, you go from the back, very close to the hair, to the root of the hair, okay? So you hook it up, close it, and pull it in. This style, you don't want um, the hair sh to be showing around it. So you go a couple of times, very close to the hair, okay? So you make it very neat, okay? Just go in a couple of times, pull it in, and go in the back. Make it close from side to side, okay? So you go from the side again. At least this one I have to do it like six times because her hair is quite her hair is quite long. Okay. Okay. So you see it's not really it's not really showing on the braid so you think is a braid that was gripped from the from the roots but it wasn't gripped from the root so you keep doing that until you get to the end Okay guys, so this is very easy for back to school and make your hair last longer. So this is it. This is the first one I did. This is the second one I did. So I'm just going to continue doing that until I get all of the hair, all of the hair done. Okay. So this is 14 inches I'm using in the front. And at the back, I'm going to use the 12 inches to finish it up. So guys, I'm just going to put some highlights over here. I have the last two left, so I just want to show you how I do the highlights, okay? So, clip it on like so. Drag it in. Go ahead and do the last one. Okay. So for the hair that is hanging out. Okay. Go in and take it in because it's black hair against the blonde one, so we're gonna do it by the side at the side a little at a time, okay? So it could blend in very well, okay? So we'll go to the other side. Take it from on top and drag it out. Okay, and for the 
Okay. Just like so. So the um, hair will only be at the side. Okay. So you continue to do that until all of the hair is tucked into the braid. Remember, this is natural hair, kids' natural hair, okay, for back to school. So, if it's not talking properly like this one, you go in very close. Now, let me go in from the top. Going very close to the hair. You close it. And you bring it so I still have a little bit more hair so I'm still going to do the same so now all the hair is tucked in okay so I'm going to do the same for this one okay So we're trying to tuck in the last hair just like we did before just keep going on top and on the bottom and as you go you straighten the hair out okay so the little ends here you go very very close to the hair And pull it so I still have one little one here so I'm going to do the same thing go from the top and close it out sometimes a little tough because it's a little tiny hair so you have to exercise patience and drag it and that's it guys I still have one tiny bit here but I'm going to try and see if I can fit that into it because her hair is natural hair okay yeah it won't allow me to so I just use the tip and push it in okay so this is what it looks like at the back okay this is the back so I use 12 inches at the back and I use the 14 inches on top of it okay so if you want to put it in a ponytail it can be done in a ponytail okay so this is my daughter's back to school hair very simple you can do this hair for your little one to go back to school Okay, so thank you guys for watching. Please like my video, give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so, okay? So I'll see you in my next one, guys. Bye-bye.